Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix packet loss, hyping, and lag spikes in Rust. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I will show you easiest ways, and then I will go in the harder ways, but don't worry, these harder ways is not too hard. So let's get started. First of all, you just need to open up Test Manager, go to Performance, press on the three dots, Resource Monitor. Then go to Network and close uh, all the uh, apps that you don't use that is require internet connection and uses internet data while we play the game. So let's see, I don't use a battle.net when, when I play Rust, so I just need to end process and close all the tasks here and look if the problem persists. If the problem persists, then open up bra browser, uh, look for Steam server status, and then look if the Steam servers is not down on your region here. If it's down, you just need to wait. If it's not down, uh, we can proceed with other steps. Other steps is uh, we need to go to fast.com and test your internet speed. If you have good internet speed, you're good to go. If you don't, maybe it's some limit devices and restart your router. And always, if there is a possibility, use ethernet cable. Uh, another thing that you need to do here is to write cmd or command prompt. If I click on it, run as admin. And here you need to put a few commands. So the first command is ip config forward slash flash dns. Another command is nesh winsock reset. Now to that, uh, go to settings, uh, settings, then go to uh, network and internet, uh, advanced network settings. If you're using, if you have Wi-Fi, make sure it's not enabled here. Then go to network reset and reset your network and look if the problem persists or not. If the problem persists, go to control panel, uh, then go to network and sharing center, then change adapter settings. The right click on your internet connection, go to properties, uh, internet protocol version four, then select use the following following DNS server addresses. And on preferred DNS server, you need to write 8.8.8.8, .8 and on alternate 8.8.4.4, and apply the changes. Uh, restart your computer, look if the problem persists or not. Then, what you need to do here is to open up Steam, look for Rust, right click on it, go to properties, install files browse and then you need to copy the path and look what rust.exe is named so it's just rust rust.exe if you don't see exe file you just need to write view uh, select view show and then select file name extensions just remember how it's written right then what you need to do here is to go to a on search right run or press windows key. Then here you just need to write gpedit.msc. Then here you need to look for Windows settings. Then right click on policy based QoS, right? And then select advanced QoS settings. Here uh, I put two of the settings here. Then select the CP marking override. Make sure this option is selected and this option is selected and OK. Then select policy based Q, uh, QoS. Uh, create new policy, name it Rust, uh, just on specified DCP value, uh, put 46. Uh, next, uh, select only applications with executable name, and then you just need to write here rust.exe, right? Press next, select a, any source IP address, any destination IP address here, and then you just need to press next, and here select TCP and UDP, and apply the changes, look if the problem persists or not. If the problem persists, then uh, go to Windows Defender Firewall, uh, allow an app or feature to Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, browse. And then we just need to paste the path that we copied on Rust, and you will see Rust.exe added here. And then allow another app, browse, and add Rust Client.exe here. And then close this, go to Virus and Threat Protection, then you need to look for a virus threat protection, uh, exclusions, and then add an exclusion folder, and then paste the path that we just copied and select folder. And look if the problem persists. If you're still getting network issues, then I highly advise you to use exit lag. Uh, it has 72 hours free trial. You don't need to put any of your credit card details uh, to get a free trial in the link in the description below. And what it does simply, it will connect with the nearest server uh, 
when you play the game and it should be uh, with the best connection because your local server local internet not always uh, connect to a nearest server this means you get a higher ping packet loss and more so with this app it will connect to the nearest uh, server and how it works basically you just need to look on rust on search select it here uh, choose a region or server select a uh, your region and then apply routes and then play the game i always use this app when i had a not too good of the internet and it always helped me so try it for yourself it's free trial uh, you don't need to put any uh, credit card details so it's a win-win if it's not working just delete the app and if it's working with my link you can get uh, 50 percent off i believe it will cost five euros a month or something like that and when you click the link in the description below do not pay anything here do not put any credit card details just create a new account and after you create a new account uh, go to the um, basically main dashboard of your account and then you can download exit lag uh, without any credit card details so yeah that's basically it if i helped you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care